Hello, guys. I really think it's about time our country, the education service, and the government started to review our education system. I just watched an interview be between KSM and the lady who hosts the National Science and Math Quiz. She said the guys who won the 2018 competition, the guys who won, assuming to be the brightest and the best, went for a, a competition in Brazil and they had to drop out because they couldn't take part of the competition. Because apparently when they got there, it had everything do, to do with Pratica. And they couldn't do it. And these are the youth that are supposed to take the country to the next level. They can write down everything they know about engineering and science, but they can't put it into practicals. I suggest we scrap up that National Science and Mass question and start to put things like National Science and Mass Innovation Construction, something tangible. Every year, government should give at least every secondary school, let's say 10,000 Ghana cities, for them to come up with innovations that are tangible and physical to help our fishing industry, agriculture, health sector, something that we can see. Chinese students go for practicals and they come up with knapsack sprayer and something to help our farmers. That is what pushes a nation forward. We have, we have an education system which is a cake and outmoded. And the people sitting on the top of the educational system have the, don't have the fungus notion of how to fix this system. And we are educating people with baggage and nonsense. What, are, what courses are they doing now? Political science, actually what, what science, human resource. What are those things doing to our economy? How is it fixing people? And we are surprised there is high graduate unemployment. What do they come to do? I have a friend whose brother just employed an Indian in this country. Now, the guy is manning their, 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 their small company. They produce rubbers and the rest. Now, the Indian is being paid $1,000 a month. This is a friend of mine who could have employed me because I'm a graduate. But do you know what he said? The Indian can fix the machine when it breaks down. What can I do about the machine? Nothing. I was taught papers, planning, community development, all those nonsense. Now, this is 5,000 Ghana cities that is going to a foreigner's pocket, which could have come to my pocket to take care of my people in my country. And we sit down there and we talk big English on those podiums when our education system is messed up and nothing seems to work. Which what we should start to understand is that retentive memory is different from being intelligent. Creativity and adaptive intelligence is what fixes a nation, not ability to memorize what a lecturer taught you. We have lazy lecturers sitting around. All they do is go to Google, download anything about something, and just come and teach. They don't even have books of their own. And we are sitting there. As of now, we can't create incubators. We can't do things that can help our own system. We can't build tractors. We can't, things that can help us, we can't do any. I have a friend who had the opportunity to go to school abroad. He went and learned welding. Now, our ignorant education system will look down upon a skill like welding. He's welding an oil company and he's making millions of dollars. Just being a welder in an oil company. Then you tell us we should go and learn political science and all that nonsense. And come and sit down doing nothing. Here are the youth that were supposed to be the brightest. They got to a competition and they had to drop out. Because what do we teach in our schools? Just empty practicals, nothing. Nothing to improve our lives. Being able to have uh, to memorize text and handouts doesn't make you intelligent. Looking at your society, looking at the problems we are facing and being able to fix it is what changes a society. We have a useless education system from class one to the final thing. And you people are sitting down, spending money, going to workshops and doing nothing about it. Call yourself professors and what sort of sitting there. It's very sad. It's very sad. I feel sad today as being a Ghanaian. Look, living in a country that do, does not understand anything about the concept of education. If you doubt what I'm saying, go to YouTube and watch the interview of the CEO of Apple, the Apple company. He is the CEO of one of the wealthiest companies. Last year, they hit $1 trillion. Go and watch an interview about him and about what he said about China. He said they are in China because of the high level of skill available in China. That is why all the companies are there. We have deindustrialized our educational system and graduates come up with just papers and no sort of skill whatsoever. And our puppets call the politicians sit there and do the bidding of the Americans and the Federal Reserve and do whatever they want. And the country is just moving into the dream. Our, our you wonder why a Ghanaian gets a master's degree, gets to the UK or the US and they put you in a supermarket to sell. What skill do you have? 
The economy is developed by skills. They are making cars, motorbikes, engines, fridges, televisions. They are manufacturing. They are doing things. What? what of what use will you be to them? If you have a degree in political science, a master's degree in human resource and natural science, what is that? It's so sad. Look at look at the elite of our society. Ask them what their children should be in the future. Lawyer, all those nonsense. No one is saying those professions are not good. But look at our country and think twice. I am not an economist, but I know that they said if a